Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are here at an unattended death. We have some fresh, wet, bodily fluid. Here's a regular color, and here's that dark reddish brown color, right? So you can see where that body fluid did leak through. Hey guys, Steve Wolf here, general manager of Tampa. We are here at an unattended death in an apartment complex in South Tampa. We are here at the scene, the corner just left. They did let us know that there was some bloating and that they had to pop the bloat in order to remove the body. But this one is a very fresh one. So stay tuned as our techs take care of this scene and explain to you their process on making sure that this apartment is going to be properly remediated so that the apartment complex can make it turnable, which means that they can put a new tenant into this apartment. So right now we're putting an absorbent down on the floor because we have some fresh wet bodily fluid. So when we use the tile chipper and we start pulling this tile up, we don't want to spread it all over the house, right? So chipper here we indicated the ground line since the concentration of all the blood and bodily fluids from the decomp was right here we're gonna be able to seam it at the doorway so if you saw the before shots right when the coroner's office took the body out they dragged it along the hallway right so they spread a little bit of that fluid however that blood and bodily fluid that came from them popping the body and dragging it was not sitting in a big pile for very long so that grout we can surface treat and it didn't get through however this grout in here as you can see it's been sitting and concentrating on there so we already know we're going to have to pull the grout so as we're going we're going to indicate each each tile as we go and pull the tile in all the affected area discoloration of the grout you can see where it went through right so here's your regular color and here's that dark reddish brown color right so you can see where that body fluid did leak through so we already know hey cool that was the right call I indicated you know it was sitting there you can see it through the grout line that I know now that I'm gonna treat the subfloor right so cool going 
from the method that I'm using to pull this tile that works for me every time. If you guys have a better way, please let me know in the comments, it'd be awesome. But what I do is once I get that first tile up, that's my hardest, I'm gonna do my four corners of those tiles, kind of tack the four corners to break it a little up a little bit, get underneath it and pop it up. So like I said, if you guys got a better method, please let me know, It'll make our lives a lot easier. Thank you. I said, as you can see, we have a little on the wall here spattered around. So what we're going to do is we're going to indicate these baseboards since the tile backed up to it, obviously, the bio puddle that was here backed up to this baseboard and backed up to that one. So we're going to indicate both of those and probably have to pull them. So we have a sock that has a bunch of little baby Maggies on it. Don't forget to go to spaldingdecon.com and we have Maggie the Maggot plushies for sale so you can get one of these little guys for yourself. Just saying. I have one. I have like three actually. They're pretty sick. The human mind works because this toilet grosses me out more than the entire bio that was here in the decomp. I don't know why. I really don't like dirty toilets. It just really grosses me out. It's just like a personal thing. Like some people don't like roaches. You know, some people don't. My thing is like poop, like human poop and dirty toilets. step is we're going to cut the, um, the caulking. There's a like rubber caulking that seals the bathtub to the tile. So for that, it's got, it's, in, it's been impacted by bio. So the bodily fluid ran into that. As you can see, it's discolored um, and it definitely indicated pretty, pretty good. So we're going to cut that out, um, make sure all biohazard is removed. Uh, the next step is to, is to treat the subfloor. So we're going to hit it with part A. We're going to treat it three times. Um, and then we're gonna seal it in. Alright guys, so we have a little bit of interesting here, some interesting stuff. So when this guy popped, he popped, right? So the, the coroner's office came, um, the medical examiner's coroner, so they came to move him when they were picking up the body. You know, he's all bloated after being here a few days and he like legitimately popped. Well, as you can see where he popped, there's some, there's some spatter 
all over the place. You got it on the mirror here, all over. You got it on on some of the, the products down here that he had. So sometimes you don't see it initially. You know, when we come into a bio, I'm looking at, you know, oh, it's a decomp. I'm looking at, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tunnel visioned on one thing, right? So this is why it's always good to double, triple, quadruple check your areas because you never know. Cause like something like this, I didn't even notice until just now, right? So that's why it's important because we need to make sure we get up all of the biohazard, right? So just something interesting here. Flies. Say hello to my little friend. All right, guys, we're back with another Nathan and Nature segment. We've been tracking this fruit fly for days now. It is massive. After Putting the trophy cockroach on the wall last time, we're off for a fly. So, let's see if I can catch him. You ready? Oh. Alright, I got him. I caught him, but he buzzed. That scared me. Hi, my name's Megan, I'm with Spalding Decon, and today we are cleaning up a house here in Tampa. Um, there was a decon that we came to clean up with. Uh, spent a good mm, three, four hours here, taking care of uh, the bathroom and into the hallway. Took uh, a lot of tile up, cleaned up a lot of uh, biohazard. Um, a lot of hard work, but I'm glad that we got it done. So far, this was the biggest one that I've had to do so far. I've done four other biohazards with this company so far. Um, I think this one smelled the worst <laughs> <laughs> out of all, all of them. So the hardest part of today was sweeping up after we took up all the tile. We had to get all that dust out of, um, out of the bathroom before we uh, could lay down the kills paint and that Took, took a minute, but we got it done. We, we arrived pretty early, so we try to get to these bios as quick as possible. Um, so we got the phone we got the phone call for it. We, we, beat the, uh, we beat the medical examiner here in the corner here, so we had to wait a while. Um, they, pulled, they pulled the guy out. Uh, we went in, we did our job. It's gonna smell nice and pretty in there after, so it'll be good. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.